Borchers joins us here on the Ford Post Game Show. Rough afternoon for you guys. What what changed in the second half, That Because outside of the PK, it was a pretty evenly played first half today. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know if uh, did you guys read Joshua Saunders, or sorry, uh, Josh Myers blog at all. I, I, I read his blog before before the game, and I, I read a certain something about the referee, and uh, I thought it was just quite interesting how he had wronged Seattle many, many times, and then I think he just kind of felt like he, he needed to make things right tonight. Uh, and, you know, it, it was really tough for us, you know, to go down that, that with that PK. I thought we still had a lot of opportunities in the second half, um, you know, uh, before before the Marco Papa goal. I'm not sure if that's a foul. Uh, you know, the referee was calling things really tight. Yeah, Nat, with, with so many players making those secondary runs coming out of the midfield, what were some of the challenges today for you and Darren Maughan, some things that you guys tried to focus on to limit their ability to get forward? It was all about uh, Obafemi Martins for us, you know, really uh, denying entry passes to him staying as tight as we possibly could. Uh, you know, obviously after we gave up, uh, uh, you know, uh, the second goal, you know, things opened up a little bit more for them, so it was really hard to be tight. I think we were just 2v2 in the back. Uh, but I thought overall we, we were okay, you know, until uh, the gates opened up. That short week now, you've got two more of the next seven days, including a midweek game at Columbus. As, as one of kind of the leaders on this team, do you guys go in the locker room and maybe use this one as a little bit of a wake-up call and say, okay, guys, get our heads straight, let's get back out on the road and do it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and I don't think uh, it's all bad in those scoreline belies, you know, how we played and, uh, you know, the the, uh, um, the intensity and, and the, the fight that we had in this game. You know, we didn't give up, uh, you know, and, and obviously this is our first, our first loss of the season. Matt, thank you. Thanks, guys. Watch RSL take on Columbus on June 4th at 530 on Utah's CW30.